Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. Jason Alexander, the Blue Moon and Neptune, also known as the Market Moon Lord, here to help you navigate through the illusions of life. And today I got another exciting lesson on financial astrology. And today we're going to be going over how we can use the moon cycles to do stock trades. It's going to be a very easy concept, a very simple concept, and a very effective concept in the right scenario. So I'm going to do a uh, you know quick little rundown of um, you know why this works. Basically, you know the moon controls our emotions, uh, and so it can definitely control how we you know pick up on energies like hope and pick up on energies like fear. And we know those are two big things when it comes to trading on the stock market. So it's it's fair to say you know during a new moon. Hope, the energy of hope will be high during the full moon uh, energy period will be high. OK, um, and so we can kind of see certain things in the stock market just based on that. But to get even more detailed, what we're going to do is we're going to look for a stock that was um, um, IPO would on either a full moon or a new moon. And it could be, you know, within I would say you want it you want it to be pretty exact um, as far as like I would say like 10 degrees or so. But um, I'm, I did find a scenario where the, it was like 12 hours apart, but it was leading up to the full moon. And for, you know, those that know astrology, you know, full moon's energy can you know, start coming around three days before and linger around three days after or, or, or and some people will say even longer. Um, so that being said, I found a company, Syntex Technology a company I've been covering. Um, it's a penny stock that, you know, uh, is very, very interesting. And, you know, we are the market moon lords. So we're looking for that to go to the moon. And, and you know, it would be nice to know when that's going to the moon. Okay. Um, so this is my site right here that we're looking at. And um, you can kind of see more details of everything I'm talking about on the site. I'm going to make this nice and quick. Um, but again, we're going over Syntex technology. And these are all the um, full moon dates that you see down here. Let me grab my pen. Okay, these are all the last eight full moon dates. Um, that we've had okay and i simply and and then remember this company did ipo um on august 3rd 20 or excuse me february 13th 2014 okay syntax technology ipo um so that's their chart for this example um we don't have to go too heavy into the charts but i do want to show you um that the sun when when this company came into existence on the stock exchange the sun was here in Aquarius and the moon was opposite of, of Aquarius uh, Leo, okay, over here. So you can see um, it's not quite a uh, full moon yet, but it was it was, it was was very close to be being one. And you can pretty much say this company came into existence during a full moon, okay? So, um, so that being said, we can look at all those dates and I pulled up those dates and we can see those dates on the, um, light blue lines okay and so um and all the light blue lines are full moon dates and you can also if you want to go do your own research go look at those dates um on, on the um on the chart so i'm going to pull this up make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see um and we can see on um the 12th uh or, or december 30th uh we had a green day after a couple uh um, red days, and I know that that one's a small green day, um, but there was a lot of red going on, and and that was one of the green days. And then you can see we had a, a red day, and then two more green days after that. Um, nothing too crazy, crazy significant there, but you know, you could have made the read that there was most likely going to have a turn that day. On um, and and you can get more details on why I'm saying that on if you read the article. Uh, but basically, um, we have. Um, the RSI uh, indicators, and we can see that I was, let me make that a lot smaller. Um, I'm down here, guys. You can see that it was starting to head down and we see the full moon coming, and I would have predicted that it was probably gonna go up because that's it was going the opposite direction, okay? Um, now, on this day, um, we can see we had a full moon right here, and then there was a green, there was green days leading up to that full moon um but again we're just going on a little gradual gradual um 
uptick right there. And typically, after you look at all the full moons, it typically goes up on a full moon after you 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 want to backtrace to see the pattern. Okay, that's the point of us backtracing. I went way way beyond eight. I'm just showing you eight full moons, the last eight recent full moons, but pretty much all the full moons it goes up. Um, so if it's going, if the RSI is going down, then I can pretty much guarantee it on a full moon is probably going to go up. Okay. Um, but again, um, you know, a steady movement you, on the RSI, you could probably see it getting turned around some, some direction, most likely up. Okay. Um, so we have two green days and you can see here, um, like I said, full moons do last a few days before and after, um, a few days before it started going green. Um, and then the day, the very next day after the full moon, it had a really big green day. Okay. Now the, now you can see on my page here, the median, did I write that yet? Yeah. Uh, the median range of of past the little eight I did I did a little bit more than eight was around twenty percent on the increase per full moon. Okay, um, so just just think about that. Um, or and and then, and we're going on a full moon um, bull runs. Okay, so the full moon we we usually see a green on that day, and but we do see a trigger bull runs period, and I because I saw a lot of big big candles on the day after the full moon. Okay. Uh, so moving along, um, we're going to go to the next one. And um, this one I, I said here, let me make this bigger again. This one I said, I said here that um, the full moon fell on a Saturday. Okay. So this was the next trading day after that Saturday. So you can see that we had a crazy uptick the, the trading day before that Saturday, Friday. And then that Monday, we had a crazy uptick. And then um, the following two days, okay? Nice bull run. Um, so I wrote green for three days, was actually four days because that one right there. So again, it's pretty obvious that the full moons are triggering little runs. Okay, this one didn't trigger much of a run. Um, but you know, you look a few days afterwards, it kind of did. Um, and then let's go over to the next one. Okay, this candle went up, guys. Um, it says this, it shows a red. I'm not, someone could tell me in the comments why that's showing red, please. Um, but I looked at that day and it was up 7%. And I wrote that down right there. Okay, so it jumped up 7% that day. Um, but then it did trigger a downfall after that. Um, but again, another green day um, on, on that day and before that day. Now, a really big one, 53% increase uh, on this full moon. And um, I actually looked at that actual day to try to figure out why that day was so much more significant than other days, which was, is going to bring me to an exciting point um, on the prediction uh, that's coming up soon. Uh, but we'll get there at the end of the video. But we had a crazy hit the, the day after this full moon, okay? Uh, 53%, crazy, 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 right? Um, that's probably the biggest jump in the last several years. And then um, on the 7th of um, July, we it, the full moon fell on a Sunday, but then on the following trading day, we had a nice big green day and a day after that. So guys, um, if we look here, there's a clear, obvious pattern with full moons. Um, and this is how we would read the um, um, the stock, uh, stock uh, trades and predict the future based upon the past, right? Um, now, not all charts are going to be able to fall for this strategy. You have to find the right candidate for it, obviously. Um, again, you want to find a chart that's, uh, you know, either uh, IPO'd on the new moon or full moon. And you can also look at um, the new moon dates. Now, I did look at the new moon dates on this, and I'm still kind of analyzing that. I will bring that up to you guys later, but I did see, see I saw changes on the new moon for this chart as well. Okay. Um, but... Uh, I saw a clear, obvious trend pattern on the full moon. And so um, let's see. I want to take you to this full moon because that was, like I said, it really skyrocketed at 53%. I mean, I would love for that to happen soon, right, guys? And I'm thinking that's the type of thing we're going to have soon. I'll get there in a second. But I'm going to go to, and, I'm, and there's a point. Um, so I'm going to go to August 3rd when that happened. Okay, 2020, and this is the inside will. Let me zoom in here. Okay. 
the insight will syntax technology. Okay, so when it came into existence on the stock change, uh, the sun was in Aquarius, the moon was in Leo, etc. Right. So the outside will was the current astrology, the current stars of the sky. And guys, um, this is normal techniques that for people who don't know, you can do this with a, a regular with a person, anything. Okay. Um, so if you guys want a financial reading, um, for your own financial astrology on your own chart and what it says about you and how you can manage money, how you can make money, uh, and all that good stuff, just let me know. Um, if you can book a reading on my site, it'll, you can use it, use the career, uh, career, um, uh, product and book a reading and I'll set you guys up and we can dive deep into how you manage money, how you would create money, create wealth, um, career stuff, anything you want to talk to as, for, as far as your uh, financial astrology. But anyway, back to the point. Um, so this was the current stars. So on this full moon, and we could tell that it's full moon because whenever the sun, or excuse me, whenever the moon becomes opposite of the sun, it's a full moon. Okay. Are you guys seeing it already? Okay. So some of you guys probably saw it. But um, so on this full moon, look at where the sun was. It was dead smack on top of Syntax's full moon. I mean, right on top of the full moon. So Syntax was going through a moon opposition and it was going through a sun conjunction. Okay. And for people who know a little bit about, you know, when, a, when sun conjuncts the moon, I mean, there's, there's faded things that could happen with that. Okay. Um, so anyway, that's a significant, that's why I believe that day was, we had a crazier uptick, which tells me there's going to be other things, other things that I'm going to start looking for. And I've already started making some reads on other uh, indications that the full moon is going to have a bigger uptick than other full moons. Now, another, another thing I want to say is my prediction for um, the next full moon. I do believe that we're going to see an increase of about, um, I mean, I'm thinking at least 35%. Okay. No, nah, because the, the medium range is about 20. I know we're going to have more than 20. Um, what I saw when the sun was on top of it, we saw a 53%. And so yeah, I'm going to play it safe. And I'm going to say around 30 to 35% increase on the very next full moon for Syntex technology. Um, so for, for anyone who found this useful, subscribe. I'm going to be doing this for a lot of companies, not just this one. Um, I'm going to be doing how to read your own financial astrology charts. Um, we're going to be covering a lot of astrology and finances period on this channel. I'm excited to do some crypto stuff. Um, and, and we're just going to analyze the market, um, and, 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 and the whole market, the currencies, everything. So guys, uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, uh, please like, so it hits the YouTube algorithm. Um, follow me on Instagram at, uh, the blue moon and Neptune, follow me, uh, on Twitter at, uh, the, the blue moon one, 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 eight, and uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, peace. Jason Alexander, the blue moon of Neptune.